Hi friends, welcome back to Inspo English. See friends, I posted two worksheets um, the other day and I hope you attempted it. There were some 25 questions uh, total. First one uh, consisted of uh, some 14 questions and the second one 15 to uh, 25. I hope you attempted it after viewing my uh, videos on subject verb agreement concord. Okay, uh, today I am giving you the answers and their justifications. Let's start with the worksheet number one and question number one. Okay, uh, first one. Manju and Praveen is our friends. Here the answer is our friends. Why? Two singular nouns connected by and takes a plural verb. That is a normal principle. I think you know it very well. Uh, Manju and. So two singular nouns connected by and uh, takes a plural verb. Okay. Now coming to the second one. The friend and benefactor has have come. Here Actually, uh, the correct answer is has. You know why? Because two singular nouns refers to one and the same uh, person. Okay, the friend and benefactor. And here you note the article, definite article the is used only before uh, one singular noun. Uh, because we need that reference later in another exercise. Okay, now coming to the third one. The hose and carriage is at the door are at the door the horse and carriage is at the door why two subjects together express the same idea as we have it in bread and butter uh, okay so it together these two words gives us the same idea and uh, uh, the horse and carriage it brings to our mind a single idea that is a horse drawn carriage Okay, the hose and carriage is at the door. Then coming to the fourth one, the orator and the statesman is dead, are dead. Here, as I said in the second one, here the definite article the is used only just before one singular noun as part of the uh, subject. But here, uh, the orator, see the definite article is used before both the singular nouns uh, in the subject and uh, according to the principle definite article the used before both the singular nouns in the subject part the verb should be uh, plural that means we refer uh, to two different people here the orator and the statesman are dead that means two people are dead. That is one is the orator and the other one is the statesman. And fifth one. Each boy and girl was present were present. Uh, here uh, each boy and each girl was present were present. Singular subject preceded by each or every. The verb should be a singular. Uh, you know. Uh, each one, anyone, no one, nobody, anybody, somebody, uh, someone, none, no one. All these uh, take singular verb. So each boy, here the question is each boy and girl, uh, singular subjects preceded by each or every, uh, the verb should be singular. So each boy and girl was present. That means we considered each boy uh, in a separate way. Then, either Abdul or Amir has stolen the watch, have stolen the watch. Either or. That means two singular nouns connected by either or. That takes a singular verb. Two or more singular subjects connected by or, nor, either or, neither or. The verb should be a singular. Okay, now seventh one. Neither the headmaster nor the assistant teachers was present, were present. Here, 
Actually, what is the principle? Two subjects connected by or, nor, either or, neither or are of two different numbers. Okay, here in the previous sentence, Abdul, Amir, both were a singular. But suppose uh, they belong to different numbers. That means here in this sentence, neither the headmaster, here it is singular number and the assistant teachers, here it is a plural number. Here it is singular and here it is a plural. So which should be uh, followed? What should be the rule? Two different numbers. The verb agrees with the subject precedes. That means the subject that precedes the verb. That comes immediately before the verb. What is that here? Assistant teachers. And teachers, assistant teachers is plural. So we have to opt the plural verb where present. So, neither the headmaster nor the assistant teachers were present. Okay, here both were singular. So, we opted singular verb. Now, eighth one. The council has chosen its president, have chosen its president. That you know. It's a very simple principle. The council is a collective uh, singular. Collective singular. And... Um, Automatically, we use a singular verb. The council has. The council has chosen its. And this its is also a clue to you uh, that we should use a singular uh, subject. Then coming to the ninth one. The jury was where divided in their opinion. Which is the correct one. Was or where. The jury uh, were divided. Here where is correct. Why? Because members of the jury considered separately. Suppose um, the members of the jury is considered together uh, as a whole, then the verb should be singular. For example, in a sentence like uh, the jury was unanimous in their decision, not the jury were unanimous. Because they are, uh, there is no difference of opinion. Uh, they are considered together as a whole. So the jury was uh, united in their opinion. Jury were divided. Why? Because uh, the juries had different opinions and they are considered separately. Okay. So jury were divided in their opinion. These are all a little bit confusing uh, to students. You must be very careful when you do such uh, sentences. Okay. Tenth one. The wages of sin is death or death. This is a good old saying. And you know, uh, some subjects plural in form. For example, wages. It appears to be a plural in form, uh, but um, it's singular. The wages of sin. Together it makes the subject. So it, it is the uh, personal pronoun that can be substituted uh, for the wages of sin. It. It is death. What is death? The wages of sin is death. Wages of sin. It provides or it deserves death. Then coming to the 11th one. Each of the boys was given a prize, were given a prize. Uh, see, verb agrees with the real subject. What is that? Each. Each one, anyone, as I said earlier, there was a um, earlier reference to this type of a question. So each of the boys was present, not were present. Verb agrees with the real subject each, so verb is uh, singular. Then coming to the twelfth one, the chief with all his men was massacred, were massacred. Here, actually, uh, we have come across a uh, the same type of uh, sentence earlier. The chief with all his men. With all his men. See, it's given uh, between two commas. That is uh, parenthesis. Or it's a parenthetic expression. It's not an integral part of the sentence. The chief with all his men uh, was massacred or uh, were massacred. It is was massacred. Because... Uh, this is the real subject. The chief was massacred. With all his men, it's not an integral uh, part of it. Okay, it gives some additional information, that's all. 
so as well as and a general information that I can give you is this uh, words joined by singular subject uh, okay words joined to singular subjects by with together with in addition to as well as etc are parenthetical and uh, do not affect the number of the verb that means you don't consider uh, this parenthetic expression to fix the uh, verb in the sentence they do not affect the number of the verb you have to consider the real subject that is in this case it is the chief then coming to the last but one 13th the cost of all these articles has risen have risen real subject is cost of the articles uh, don't consider articles uh, together it uh, forms the subject that is the cost of these articles together it gives us only a single idea so the verb should be singular the cost of the articles has risen real subject is cost of the articles so uh, that is singular so the verb is also singular and the last one one of the arguments he raised dash seem seems especially convincing after one of the i think that's very familiar to you after one of the uh, we use uh, plural noun but the verb is always a uh, singular so it should be one of the arguments he raised seems especially convincing so these are the answers uh, i am sure these uh, uh, worksheets will be very useful to you uh, in your examination any competitive examination that you are going to face in future so uh, keep it in your um, uh, mobile or computer safely saved so you can use it uh, in future uh, thank you for watching uh, i will be posting the answers to part one and two on the same day so that you can verify your answers the same day thank you for watching i'll be back with um, the second part very soon thank you and goodbye